How's it going there today, YouTube? Today we're talking about NEO stock and what bullish things it has going on for it and if it's gonna keep going up, if it's a buy, if it's a sell, if it's a hold, with all this crazy volatility and this strange world that we live in these days. So I have a very large position in NEO, so I follow this one religiously. So if you enjoy the content or if you just wanna follow some NEO updates, please think about liking and subscribing. And let's talk about why NEO stock is possibly gonna go much higher. So NEO yeah. stock. So what are the bullish things that we have going on for NEO stock in the upcoming future? So this was recently announced that they're doing some research and development on autonomous driving, meaning self-driving vehicles. Now, and when you think about this, Tesla has a huge edge on this, and I don't know if this is something that's gonna be, you know, a big game changer for NEO in the end. It is interesting that they're doing it, but I don't know if this is gonna be a big game changer for NEO in the end, just because Tesla does have a huge lead on them, and I feel like if somebody's gonna to wanna to buy a self-driving car, they're gonna buy a Tesla in general. But it is interesting that they're getting in this space, and it is kind of exciting also that they're getting in the space here. October sales. So at the beginning of next month, we're going to be looking forward to October sales. And these could be really, really ideal for us because it seems like Neo just keeps crushing record after record after record. Um, but that might also be baked into the share price as well. So if they don't break the record that they had last month, is that going to absolutely just grenade the share price? And it certainly could grenade the share price because it seems that we're kind of expecting at this point for them to keep growing exponentially. Uh, COVID-19 seems to not be resurging so much in China as it is in the United States, which is a good thing for car sales because if we go on another lockdown, I feel like the last thing people are probably going to want to think about buying is a new vehicle. So I think that is also another bullish thing that's happening for them right now and hopefully in the future something they won't have to deal with here. Revenue and earnings should be awesome. We've seen how many vehicles they've been able to sell. We've seen what models they can sell. And from these things, we should be able to guess that they're going to have better revenue, better earnings than they did the prior quarter, just because they're selling bulk vehicles, more and more vehicles. Granted, they are dumping more money into things, so they may not be positive for a while. I mean, growth costs money, takes money to make money, that whole chestnut. But uh, yeah, so they're probably going to be having better earnings, better revenue, all of that stuff. For sure, revenue, possibly not earnings with the amount of money they're dumping into R&D and expanding and the battery leasing and uh, trying to make these new model vehicles and everything like that. So that brings me to the next thing, I guess, new models. So they're bringing in new models that are more affordable. And I feel like they've released a model that is kind of similar to the Tesla Model 3, the EC6, I believe. So... With that model, I believe that they're going to kind of fall into that range where now middle class folks can now purchase these vehicles instead of it just being the upper crust that can afford these vehicles. That was kind of the game changer, in my opinion, with Tesla with the Model 3, where they released this vehicle and then just game changed just like that. So I think they kind of have these things going on for them. And there's a couple more things we're going to dive into here right now. So what are the final bullish things that I want to talk about in terms of NEO stocks? So Q3 which is probably going to be about December time that we're talking about right now. We, I feel like personally, are going to absolutely crush at least revenue for sure. Earnings may be a different fact. They're probably still in a pretty heavy cash burn mode just to try to expand. So I think earnings will probably be a little bit better, possibly not better, but I think revenue is going to be on point. So I think December time, our earnings are going to be an absolute blast off. Again, this is speculation. It could be bad. You know, who knows? Maybe they're taking uh, huge losses on all these new models they're putting out there. Who knows? So I think Q3 in December, I think will be a good thing. I think that'll be good. I think the deliveries are going to be good. I think Neo Day that they announced, so generally they do have Neo Day in December, but with COVID, they had to push it back out to January, but they didn't have a set date at all for about a year. So they have to have something that they're going to unveil, I feel like. January 9th, because they could have easily just not had Neo Day. So why even have Neo Day if you really don't have something groundbreaking to unveil? So in my opinion, I almost feel like on January 9th, they're going to release something that just like poof, shake the shit out of everything. It's going to be crazy. I think they're going to re release some news that's going to be really, really good for them. So for me, is this one a buy, a sell, or a hold? And we're going to switch to blue for this one just because... Is this one a buy, a sell, or a hold? So for me, I have a large chunk of my investing wealth in NEO stock, uh, probably more than I should have if I'm honest with it because there is a bit of speculation yet with this one. Um, so I'm holding, but you know, if I didn't have a fully flushed out position, I would still feel fine buying some. Even at the, what is it at now? What, $27 range? 
I would still feel fine buying some just because I'm so stinking bullish on this one. I feel like things are just going to keep accelerating. Their growth has been phenomenal. Their revenue has been phenomenal. Their vehicle deliveries have been phenomenal. Everything's just been so on point. So for this one, I like this one a lot. I'm holding my position. No chance I want to sell. I feel great about it. I feel good about the future events to come. And uh, I think we're going to make a lot of money on this one. So again, if you like the content, please think about subscribing. And uh, we'll keep on following her. So you guys take care.